So if you're in Illustrator CC, what you can do is if you want to take something from a design, and let's suppose that I've got this shameless plug right here for my training site, uh, you want to be able to take some, some object on this in this artboard and you want to be able to save it as web. Well, take a look right here. You're going to see I've got a logo. In the past, what we'd have to do is we'd have to come out here and try and slice this thing using a couple different methods and save it out as web. And But now what we can do in Illustrator CC, you can select something, let's say like this thing right here. Okay, let me actually, I'm going to turn off the Smart Guides. What we can then do is instead of hiding stuff, slicing, you can simply go up to Window, go to the CSS Properties panel, and you're going to see that the CSS Properties panel is I love this thing. It's it's great. I don't use it for everything, but if you want to grab a bit of styling from text or other, it'll give you that CSS. If you click on an object that it can't quite figure out, it's going to turn it into an image, and it's going to make it transparent and typically convert it into a ping, a PNG file. The way we do this is to come down here. There's a couple ways to get it done, but a really fast and down and dirty method is come down here to export selected CSS. Now, you can't just copy it. That's going to copy the styling if it makes it, but it won't give you the actual image. So go ahead and export selected CSS, and then I'll put it on my desktop. It's going to save it as a CSS file. Now you're going to get a CSS file you don't have to use, but you're going to get the image ultimately. So I click Save, and here's the key. Look in here, you're going to see bunches of stuff. I don't care about the CSS, I just want the image. Just say Generate CSS for Unnamed Object. This is typically a, a named object is a named object in the layers panel. So if somebody went over to the layers panel and you know changed the name from group to logo or something. So we're going to say generate the CSS for it. I'll click OK. There we go. You're going to see it just created the CSS. It's got an image called image.ping. If I go to my desktop now, you can forget about that stuff. You'll see there it is right there. And if I crack that thing open, you're going to see it's a PNG file. It is completely transparent. It looks at all the effects applied, like drop shadow, you know, different stuff like that, and keeps it on there. There we go. That's it. An easy way to be able to save out a web file from Illustrator CC.